Hey, KU fans, thanks for logging on to KUSports.com to check out our coverage of the Final Four NCAA Volleyball Championships. Hard to believe it's here? It's awesome. you got two teams from the Big 12 and two teams from the Big 10. So you're talking about four Central Zone teams. Yeah. You know, the All-American team dominated by Central Zone sure. players. Sure. It's, it's a very cool thing and a very proud day for the Big 12 for the Big Ten and for these four schools, including, of course, Kansas. No doubt, right in the heart of the central time zone, too, in Omaha at CenturyLink Center. Tom was here all day, I was here all day. We were talking to all four teams. We were inside the KU locker room. Biggest thing you learned, coolest thing you learned from the locker room today about the Jayhawks. That they act like they belong here, and they yeah. do belong here. Yeah, Because definitely. they got here by beating the number one overall seed right. in a very dramatic fashion. But that's the thing about these young ladies. They save the drama for the court. Right. There's no off the court drama that I can see, and they're very happy to be in each other's company no and doubt. the company of their coaches. It's a very close knit group that works very hard and is driven very hard by the coaching staff. And the harder the coaching staff draws them, the closer the circle gets with the girls. No doubt about it. Young women. Sorry. Also, a very Keep calling them girls. Yeah, yeah, they call themselves that. Also, a very talented team, though. Uh, we learned today that Kelsey Payne and Anise Havili. Both first team All Americans. That's the first time that's happened at Kansas. Uh, Carolyn Jarmock, a couple of years ago, was a third team All American. Other than that, there have been no volleyball All Americans. Right. And this year they got two on the first team. Remarkable story. Uh, credit Both to Bird's great, uh, uh, Laura Coon's great, great recruiting. And of course, Ray Bouchard also, when uh, Havili was on the fence, he said, We need a decision. And she said, Well, this seems pretty cool. Worked out. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool is a decent word for it. Um, I think one of the coolest things was just how much respect this Kansas volleyball team is getting from the, the other teams that are here. I mean, Nebraska's been here a bunch of times, and this is their home. They're, they're 59 miles away from their conference. Uh, Texas is, or their, their campus. Texas has been here five years in a row. Their coach is a veteran of this. Minnesota's now kind of a veteran powerhouse, too. But all three of those programs talked about how good this is for volleyball to have Kansas and other programs, BYU, last year teams just kind of come up through the ranks and and grow this sport and I, I think that's been really cool to see the respect well, look, look at how big the, the the KU fan base has grown if they had an opportunity to get tickets there would be thousands of yeah, people there would be there. no doubt I Easy mean, this, drive. a lot of people who never tuned in now are going to be trying to get tickets next year at Horsch and it won't be easy but they'll be trying yeah, which is cool there's no doubt it's going to be a very very red clad environment here there's gonna be 15 16,000 Nebraska fans at 8 30 Thursday night when KU and Nebraska play in that second semifinal. uh KU's girls were asked about that and they said eh, bring it Kelsey Payne didn't even have to say bring it she just smiled ear to ear just a real confident look on her face as if to say we can handle that we'll see if they can obviously but that was a, something that jumped out at me just your last thought as we wrap up our coverage if you haven't checked it out there's like 50 things about this tournament and this event on KUSports.com right now. We've been here all day. Last thing that stumped, stood out to you today. That this, uh, you know, I'm late to volleyball, as you know, really late, and you've got a much deeper background. This is an incredibly fun sport with an incredibly fun team to cover.